Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today I'm coming to you with an energy forecast. Uh, I'm shooting this on the fly, so I apologize for any problems with the audio or video quality. Um, so I just wanted to talk briefly about the energy. I've been asked to talk about the energy, and so let's describe it. Well, basically, a lot of you may be finding that you're having difficulties with um, administrative things. You may be revisiting things that you've left behind. You may be revisiting love that you've left behind, at least just in your thoughts. Or um, you may be reconsidering where you are at right now. So some of the decisions that you may have come to at the end of last year, so the end of 2019, around October, November, you may have started actioning that. And you may be actually standing at a point right now where you're looking back at all of that and wondering whether it was exactly what you've desired or what you've hoped for and where you actually wanted to go to. And this is the same with regard to love. Like if you have left behind love in the last year or years, you may be standing at a point where you're looking back and thinking about what has happened and reviewing it. Thinking about that person again, wondering about them and wondering how things are going to unfold in the future. It may be, a, there may be a renewed hope that comes up about due to something different, something peculiar, something that comes out of the blue. However, you will be standing at a point where you're looking back right now, whether you're looking at things uh, such as old places that you've lived at or old jobs that you've done, um, you're looking at returning or you're considering returning. It may not be that you action any of these things right now, but you're simply looking back at things. One of the other energies at present is that of repairs. So you may need to deal with a lot of things uh, that are actually uh, little things or maybe bigger things that may be broken or needing repair or needing an upgrade. So you may be finding that a place that you're living in or a place that you occupy, whether for work or for pleasure or anything like even a car, uh, maybe needing some kind of work or upgrade, um, you'll find that there may be repairs around your home that you wouldn't have noticed that you needed to take care of, but now it all comes to your, to your up to the surface. And the next few weeks are going to be a lot about that. And it might be a bit frustrating for you to have to deal with these kind of things. Um, but th this is the energy that's about right now. One of the other energies that are at play is one of misunderstanding. So there may be a lot of misunderstandings between you, you and people that you deal with or people that you interact with, whether for work or for pleasure or family, your friends. Um, there may be a lot of misunderstandings, a lot of people uh, not really understanding what you're saying or reading the subtext and reading it wrong. Uh, all kinds of misunderstandings that arise out of many things. So it's it really covers the gambit. Um, it may be, you know, with regard to emotional things or practical things, material things, uh, logistical things, you know, functionality. It really, there may be, uh, or just travel arrangements, all kinds of things like that as well. So try to keep a cool head and try not to get to engage with these things. This energy will boil over in the next few weeks. And I think by the time we end the month of February, we will find that the turbulence that began uh, at the beginning of this year would have released. And um, we're coming to a new a, a new uh, full moon. <laughs> it's not a new full moon, but, uh, well, another full moon, rather, um, late in this week, this weekend. And um, I think I think it's Monday, Sunday or Monday. And this is going to be a high point of that. And it's also going to bring a kind of completion to this energy in a way it leaves behind a lot of the turbulence and then you can kind of settle into things and, and you can actually start your year now is the time where you you're coming into starting your year so how is this energy applying to you um, think about it and think about what can you leave behind in the last few weeks that I've been bugging you or all the things like the dust has risen and now it's settling again and now you can continue 
So this full moon is really a release of that and that release of that energy, a release of that frustration. And one of the ways in which you can celebrate that or uh, acknowledge that is by doing things that help you release, you know, um, even like massages would be really good to do uh, early next week or uh, as the week comes to an end now. What else do you need to know? Um, in terms of the energy at play, don't take it too seriously. Don't make too many rash decisions. Uh, if you're feeling angry, don't be too quick to uh, cut off people. You know, if boundaries are an issue, if, if you feel that you need to clear, make some clear boundaries, be firm about that, but don't cut people off, okay? Because you might be feeling the need to do that. You may be feeling the need to be quite harsh in the way in which you uh, express yourself. You, there is no need for that. Just take a few deep breaths and try to de-stress and walk away from it at the moment. If you're engulfed in stress and you're struggling with things right now, to try to take a few moments each day to just ground yourself and remove yourself from the sources of your stress. This is going to make a huge difference in terms of how you're feeling and how you're going about uh, your your daily activity and the decisions that you make as a result of the, the things that you're encountering in the next while. It feels to me like it's a time where there are lots of decisions that need to be made, lots of little decisions, lots of big decisions. And what you ought to do is remember that um, you don't need to make anything that's long lasting at the moment because come the end of March, well, yeah, come come March, the end of Feb and until the end of March, you're going to find that a lot of things change again. So in this time, you're going to be making new changes. So even though you, it's like you're starting the year right now, you're actually going to move on and, and you think that you're settling, uh, you're going to find that in a month from now, things are changing again and you may need to make other decisions or you may need to work, move in a different direction or you may need to travel unexpectedly. And so there's all of that at play. There's a lot at play right now. And for those of you who asked me to do this energy forecast, I thank you because I've also been quite busy and I haven't been actually even thinking about doing an energy forecast. So thank you for the reminder. And um, yeah, I do apologize to all my clients um, for the huge delays, as well as to some of the giveaways, uh, winners, that I have not gotten back to you. I will really try my best to get back to you as soon as possible. And uh, yeah, I do begin readings again um, the following week, in the in the following week from the 10th of February so I am taking bookings again and if you would like to go ahead uh, and book uh, you will be scheduled within the next two to three weeks so yes it's a little bit of a backlog uh, I try to as you know if, if you read with me then you know that I try to do everything within a week uh, but uh, right now it's just not that kind of time for me and so there is a backlog of about two to three weeks for most um, for most of the readings as well as the he the healing work. All right, so I'm wishing you all very well, and I hope you all have a wonderful time over Valentine's and etc. Uh, I do have some 2020 readings that still need to be edited and put out there, and I haven't had a chance to do that as yet. But I will get back to you on that. And um, it's not really 2020; it's more like the year ahead, so you can start at any time, really. And so, uh, yeah, I hope you're all doing well. Write to me, let me know how you're doing and how you're getting along. And you may go ahead and put your uh, um, requests down in, this, in the comment section here. I will be looking at requests uh, in the next few weeks and recording new videos and uploading them in the next uh, months. All right, so go ahead and, and do that. And I thank you all very much for your support and your patronage and uh, love you lots and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.